mid-morning start for the bike division with all eyes on the front row. Will this be Ben Grabham's fourth King of the Desert title? Will the winner come from first-timer Toby Price? With the massive talent list of riders fronting this year's event, the experts are tipping that the 2010 King of the Desert could in fact come from as many as 15 different crews. It's a big call, but this is a very special race and anything can and will happen. For the top bunch of crews, it will be a two at a time sprint for the first corner, the all important dust gap, the number one priority. Just back and to facilitate getting the huge field away, eight bikes on the line at a time. Now, if you've ever wondered what level of commitment is required to run the Fink at the pointy end, this is the perfect example. Three times winner Ben Grabham showing us just that. This flat out challenge would see the number one bike clear out a gap on his fellow start line man, Chad Billet. Grabham would keep the pressure up, heading to the first of the time checkpoints out front. This is a very tough race on the machinery. Full throttle runs at over 180 k's per hour for kilometre after kilometre is just one of the engineering challenges. Big jumps, soft sand and of course the very famous whoop section all looking to nobble even the best prepared team. For Grabham out front he would continue his super pace, however he would not be the fastest at the time checkpoints. Fink novice Toby Price is riding a spectacular race, setting those fastest times and picking off those in front. Yeah,